بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم فرینڈس آئی ایم عثمان چودھری اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ٹیکنالوجی ایکسپلور جسٹر ڈے آئی ہیڈ ریسیوڈ اے کامنٹ آن مائی یوٹیوب ویڈیو فرام مسٹر اختر صدیق اینڈ ہی سینٹ می ڈرائنگس اینڈ ہی وانٹ می ٹو میک دس پارٹ ان سالڈ ورکس شیٹ میٹل سو کیپ واچنگ دس ویڈیو ٹل اینڈ اینڈ اف یو وانٹ ٹو ڈاؤن لوڈ دس پارٹ آئی ول لیو دی ڈاؤن لوڈ لنک ان دی ڈسکرپشن آف دس ویڈیو سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ فرسٹ آف آل اسکیچ آن فرنٹ پلین and then draw a line press escape button and then draw a center line and start it from origin up to this point press escape button and then select this line and make it horizontal then select this center point and this midpoint make the relation vertical then select both of these lines and make their relation equal now define the length of this line let's say 100 mm and then define total height or 0 mm now define the angle between this line and this line 120 mm So our sketch is now fully defined. Press escape button and then go to sheet metal tab. So if you don't have sheet metal tab on your solid works, just right click here and then from here check to this option sheet metal. So in sheet metal select base flange tab. In the direction one expand the option. This is the length of extrusion. So let's say um, 20 mm and then this is the sheet thickness so you can change the sheet thickness from here also so at the moment we are going to select 0.5 mm then press ok button so now what we have to do we have to create one more sketch so uh, sketch on this face make normal to and then draw a sketch by using line command press escape button and then select this center point or midpoint and this midpoint make their relation vertical then select both of these lines make their relation equal and collinear now from here select three point arc and start it from this point up to this point one more arc on this side press escape button and then select both of these arcs make their relation equal then select this line and this arc make their relation tangent now draw a line from this point up to this point press escape button now define total length 100 mm this height 20 mm and then define the radius of this arc 12 mm define this length 30 mm so uh, at the moment our sketch is fully defined now press escape button and then you sketch fillet command and fillet all these corners so fillet radius is 6 mm then select all these corners one by one now press okay button again press ok button next we have to create a uh, circles so sketch one circle somewhere here and one circle here press escape button and then select both these circles make their relation equal then select this center point and this midpoint make their relation vertical similarly select 
this midpoint, this center point, and this center point. Make their relation horizontal. Now select this center point and this midpoint. Make their relation vertical. Now define the diameter of this circle 10 millimeter. So our sketch is uh, now fully defined. Press Escape button. Then go to Sheet Metal tab and select Base Planes tab. So thickness for this sheet is also um, 50 millimeter as our default. So if you want to change the direction, check this option Reverse Direction. Then make sure to uh, check this box Merge Results and press OK button. Now expand the tab one tree and then from here select Sketch Six or this sketch. Press and hold Control key and select this face. Then go to Insert and from here select Derived Sketch. So we have the same sketch on this face. Now again go to Sheet Metal tab and select Base Planes tab. So we have to reverse the direction. Check this box, reverse direction, and press OK button. So next step is that we have to bend these two strips. For that, again select this face and then sketch on it. Make normal to, and then draw a line. Start it from somewhere here up to this point. Press Escape button and then select this point and this line. Make their relation coincident. Go to Sheet Metal tab, and in the Sheet Metal tab, select Sketched Bend. So, from here, click on this box, Fixed Face, and then select this face. So this is the band radius. If you want to change the radius of this band, uncheck this box and then manually type here radius of this band. So this is the angle. Type here the angle six zero, and then press OK button. Same step we have to. Do with this side. So again, sketch on this face. Make normal to. Control plus eight key is the shortcut key for normal to. Draw a line and then select the line and the origin. Make their relation coincident. Again, in the sheet metal tab, select sketch band. And at this time, select this face. Type here the angle six zero degree. Then uncheck this box for default radius, and then manually type here two millimeter radius. Then press OK button. So now uh, one last step is remaining. We have to create uh, holes on this face. So for that, select this button, unfold. And uh, from here, select fixed face. So select this face, and then collect all bands. Press OK button. Now sketch on this face. Make normal to, and then draw circles. Press Escape button. And then press and hold Control key and select center points of all circles one by one. And then select this midpoint. Now make the relation horizontal. Then select all these circles and make their relation equal. Now define the diameter of this circle eight millimeter. Then press Escape button. Now select this midpoint and this center point. 
make their relation vertical same process for this side select this center point and this midpoint make their relation vertical now define the distance between the circles 18 mm so select this uh, dimension and press okay button select this dimension and press okay button now press is k button and then go to features tab and apply extruded cut command cut it from throughout this part and press okay button so our part is now fully um, designed go to sheet metal tab and then select fold command as you can see fixed face has automatically been detected by the system and then press this button collect all bands and press okay button So this part is now completed in SolidWorks sheet metal. Now you can uh, measure its development length by using flatten command here. So you can convert it Adobe uh, Illustrator file uh, for a laser cutting. Then press this button to exit from flatten mode. And I hope you had learned and enjoyed from this video. Thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel.